What's good, y'all? It's your boy, The Rundown. And with all the beefs going on right now in hip-hop, the only rappers that's actually doing something about it is Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Yeah. It was recently reported that Cardi B and Nicki Minaj's entourages got into an altercation at a recent fashion event. According to rumors, Cardi B overheard some shit talk about her daughter from Nicki Minaj's entourage and flipped out. Here's audio of Cardi B responding. If you could hear her, she's saying, let them talk about my daughter again. Apparently, somebody from Nicki Minaj's entourage had some words to say about Cardi B's daughter with Migos rapper Offset. Migo. A source connected to the situation said that Cardi B tried to fight Nicki, but Nicki's friend Ra stepped in and ended up fighting Cardi instead. There's also footage and photos of Cardi B with a lump on her head. A nice knot on top of her forehead. In the photos, she looks unbothered. Hold on, we got a phone call coming in. Of course, Christeezy. She got something to say about this. What up, Steez? Yo, super fucking crazy. And like, I don't know because I'm such a Cardi B fan. So it's like a little disturbing. But allegedly, this all stemmed from Nikki speaking on Cardi's parenting and motherly skills and just insulting how she raises her daughter and the things that she does. So I guess I kind of get it because kids are off limits. You know what I'm saying? And as we all know, there's obviously some underlining issue between the two of them, but it's just fucking crazy. Well, the rule number one is you keep the kids out of it. Kids are off limit. Right. Maybe, like you said, she is jealous of all the success. I mean, there's a new queen in town. There's a new queen in hip hop. But every 10 years, there's a new something like every 10 years. Fashion repeats itself. Every 10 years, there's going to be another hot chick like fucking hang up your foot. Like she's she's Nikki. Like she has undisputedly done so much. Like, why not just be like, you know what? You, you want to be female empowerment, but it, you contradict yourself when you talk shit about the next female rapper. You don't pay homage to the one you idolized as a kid. Like I still that shit bothers me to this day. How do you not show respect to uh, to little Kim? But like 10, you know, 10 plus years ago, 20 years ago, little Kim literally was like the queen bee. Uh-huh. Hey, listen, man. Apparently, Nicki Minaj is bothered by Cardi. And uh, Cardi, in Bronx fashion, took off her shoe <laughs> and threw it at Nicki's entourage. Apparently, it was somebody named Ra from Nicki's uh, entourage. Ra, Dick, Ra, Ra Ali, not Ra Digga, Jesus Christ. Ra Ali is the ultimate New York groupie. She's like a bopper. She's like, she's affiliated. She's she's like that one girl that's just always in the business and all, but not like on the scene, like in a popping ass way. Like she low key is like a little leech. So like it comes to no surprise that she was there. She's the same one who got into it with um with uh, Sky from Black Ink at Diddy's New Year's party. Like, she's always running her fucking mouth. She's just always there. I don't know what she does to this day, but she's just always around. She's always there. She's that one ratchet chick that's just always there. Hey, well, apparently she snuck through Cardi's security and put hands on her. I mean, if she did, she did. I guarantee you, like... Left a lump. She left a lump on Cardi's head. Not saying that that, uh, that's a good thing, but Cardi was touched. It was a nice little lump on her forehead above her left eyebrow. I'm just interested to see what's next. This shit's about to go to a whole nother level, unfortunately. And all because of what? Jealousy? Because you can't practice what you preach? Hey, well. Like, be a true queen. Be a true queen. Hey, you you know, it's hard out here for a female rapper, apparently. Yeah. It's hard out here. They acting ghetto. At the fashion show, at the fashion right. event. Like, come on. <laughs> they act in New York. They act in real Bronx and real Queens. Yo, that's how New York gets down. It is what it is. That shit don't happen in LA. Cause I just feel like it's just, I don't know. Like, I feel like 
New Yorkers obviously have too much to prove, and that's great. That's a, that's a, that's their that's their thing. But I feel like as women, when you get to certain levels in in your career, especially in entertainment, like you can't risk that shit for nothing. You don't want to risk those endorsements. You don't want to get blacklisted in the industry, whether it be fashion, hip hop, tech. Anything entertainment based, like, why would you risk it? And I get Cardi, but there's a time and a place for everything. As for Nikki, like, that was some punk shit. Like, hey, well, listen, this low. is still early. Um, allegedly, it was Nikki. It could have just been Riley. But look, at the end of the day, we all know that there's issues between Cardi and Nikki. Mm, it ain't going in nice. I'll tell you that much. We'll touch upon it. I'm sure some shit will unfold real soon. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Cardi B also took it to social media after the altercation. Here's what she wrote. I've let a lot of shit slide. I let you sneak diss me. I let you lie on me. I let you attempt to stop my bags. Fuck up the way I eat. You threaten other artists in the industry. Told them if they work with me, you'll stop fucking with them. I let you talk big shit about me. I dressed you once in person. I dressed you a second time in person. And every time you cop the plea. But when you mention my child, you choose to like the comments about me as a mother, make comments about my abilities to take care of my daughter, is when all bets are fucking off. I work too hard and come too far to let anybody fuck with my success. Bitches talk all that shit in they raps, but in real life they pussy. This shit really is for entertainment. Okay, Cardi B has spoken, y'all. Miss Cardi B has officially spoken. Mm -mm -mm. Can we all just get along? But the saddest part about all of this is that hands were put on Cardi B. If you look at the photos, she got a nice knot, a lump above her left eyebrow. Fuck. With all that money and security, she was still touched. Wow. Wow. Uh oh, B Easy is calling in. What up, B? Cardi B is not trying to have it, man. I heard she is <laughs> not with the bullshit right now, man. Uh, I heard she's not trying to hit it, see? <laughs> Why are you clowning on the lump on her head, man? I see the wordplay. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? She's just like, you know, she got a little lump on her head. You know, she should be Nutty Professor 3. <laughs> Attack of the lumps. You Look know what I'm saying? Because, uh, Looking like Scotty Pippen after Alonzo Mourning. Pretty sure she was not <laughs> prepared to duck, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean... It's not the moment for this right now, B. Yeah, man. You know, she's like, you better you better be careful with me. Because she was not careful. You know? <laughs> uh, that's what you call for? <laughs> you know, this is, this is uh, red bottom. These are blood shoes and... uh. <laughs> <laughs> the bloody shoes. <laughs> she had bloody shoes because the she was not blocking, you know, her head. You know Yo, number one, I like that it sound like you calling from jail. <laughs> number two, um, uh -huh. that's that's foul, bro. <laughs> why you doing? Why you doing our girl Cardi like that, man? She's doing this game. Uh, you know, you know. To be honest with you, I'm not that much of a fan. I'm more a team Nikki. If I gotta go, anybody, even though Chung Lee makes no sense, <laughs> but it's all good. Okay, you know. <laughs> Hey, I, I'm actually not trying to hear none of that shit, but you know, it's all good. <laughs> oh, all right, man. I'm not going to uh, condone none of this right now, man. I was doing a serious report and be easy calling in with the knock knock jokes. Yeah, man, the knock knock jokes, man. If you listen to Migos' new album, it's probably going to sound like, <laughs> not, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. All right, B, man. I'm going to get back to closing this thing out. Appreciate the call, brother. And I, you know what I'm saying? It's all love, man. And I am not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going <laughs> to shed no tears. You know oh, what I'm shit. All right, that's be easy, y'all. Yeah, uh, not today. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, man. All day, man. Pleasure, man. Hey, I'll let you. Hey, you're not right, bro. <laughs> hey, I am not. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I have to show my man be easy got 1990s quality in his phone sound like he called from a nokia but it's all good shouts out be easy god damn it yeah man women in hip-hop are actually beefing physically 
But look, man, the story's developing. It's about to be interesting. Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj. Let's see how this unfolds. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. We lost another one today in the world of hip hop. 26 years old. It's a sad day. Our condolences go out to Mac Miller's family and friends. Ah. Rundown Radio. They don't want to see us win. You're tuned in to Rundown Radio, the home of no chill, with your host, The Rundown.